When it comes to iconic British singers, few can match the talent, uniqueness, and impact of Annie Lennox. With her distinctive voice, bold sense of style, and captivating performances, Lennox has become a music legend over the years. From her early days as a member of the groundbreaking duo Eurythmics to her successful solo career, Lennox has left an indelible mark on the music industry. Annie Lennox's life story was also filled with unexpected events and shocking trials of fate. So I decided to dive into the biography of Annie Lennox and tell you what the singer was really like behind the scene. Grab your cup of tea and get ready for a journey into the untold life story of Annie Lennox. Annie Lennox was born on Christmas Day 1954 in Aberdeen, Scotland. She is the daughter of Dorothy Farquharson and Thomas Allison Lennox. In the 1970s, Lennox won a place at the Royal Academy of Music in London, where she studied the flute, piano, and harpsichord for three years. She lived on a student grant and worked at part-time jobs for extra money. Lennox was unhappy and doubted her own talent when compared to her student contemporaries while at the Royal Academy and deliberated on what other direction she could take. Lennox's flute teacher's final report stated, and has not always been sure of where to direct her efforts, though lately she has been more committed. She is very, very able, however. Two years later, Lennox reported to the Academy, I have had to work as a waitress, barmaid, and shop assistant to keep me when not in musical work. She also played and sang with a few bands, such as Windsong, during the period of her course. In 2006, the Academy made her an honorary fellow. Lennox also was made a fellow of the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama that year. In 1976, Lennox was a flute player with a band called Dragon's Playground, leaving before they appeared on ITV's talent show New Faces. From 1977 to 1980, she was the lead singer of The Tourists, a British pop band and her first collaboration with Dave Stewart. So good to be back Lennox and Stewart's second collaboration, the 1980s synth-pop duo Eurythmics, resulted in her most notable fame as the duo's alto, soul-tinged lead singer. Early in Eurythmics' career, Lennox was known for her androgyny, wearing suits and once impersonating Elvis Presley. Eurythmics released a long line of singles in the 1980s, including Sweet Dreams. In 1990, following the release of Eurythmics' commercial disappointment We Two Are One, Lennox announced that she was taking a two-year sabbatical to have a child. During this time, the group quietly dissolved, Lennox had a baby, and she began working on her first solo album. Diva, her solo debut, arrived in 1992 and showcased a calmer, more mature vocalist designed to cross over into the adult contemporary market. On the strength of the singles Walking on Broken Glass and Why, Diva sold over 2 million copies in the US alone. The album was also nominated for three Grammy Awards. Lennox delivered her second solo album, a covers collection entitled Medusa, in 1995. Peaking at number 11, Medusa spawned the hit single No More I Love You's and went platinum by the end of 1995. Lennox took some time off to raise her child and become more actively involved with humanitarian endeavors. A full eight years after Medusa was released, she returned with Bear, one of the strongest and most personal albums of her career. After another break, she released songs of mass destruction in September 2007 and made plans to embark on an extensive North American tour, starting in October. Three years later, Lennox returned to recording with her first holiday album, entitled The Christmas Cornucopia. In 2014, she delivered another covers-oriented album, the Mike Stevens-produced Nostalgia. The following year, Lennox re-released the album as Nostalgia, An Evening with Annie Lennox, which included both the original studio album and a bonus Blu-ray disc of her live PBS concert recorded on stage at Los Angeles' historic Orpheum Theater backed by a 19-piece ensemble. Annie Lennox is undoubtedly a musical icon, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her incredible talent, unique style, and powerful voice have captivated audiences around the world. With a successful solo career and remarkable achievements as part of the duo Eurythmics, Lennox has become a symbol of empowerment, activism, and artistry. Throughout her career, Annie Lennox has been recognized with numerous awards and accolades, including multiple Grammy Awards and Brit Awards. Her music has resonated with fans across generations, and her impact on the pop and rock genres is immeasurable. 
Beyond her musical accomplishments, Lennox has dedicated her life to making a difference. She has been a fierce advocate for various causes, including AIDS awareness, women's rights, and humanitarian efforts. Lennox's passion for social justice is an inspiration to many, and her activism continues to spark change and raise awareness globally. In conclusion, Annie Lennox's contributions to the world of music and activism are undeniably significant. Her talent, passion, and determination have solidified her status as one of the greatest artists of our time. Annie Lennox's legacy will continue to inspire future musicians and activists for years to come.